Google Forms, previewing your form. When building and creating your Google Form, it's always a good idea to take a look at it from the viewpoint of your respondent. To see a preview of your form, you're going to come to the upper right hand corner and select the eyeball icon. This will open the form in a second tab, and it's going to show it in the way that your recipients will be seeing it and filling it out. And you'll see there's a, quite a bit of difference between how it looks to them versus how it looks to you in the editing tab. You'll notice the editing tab is still open for you as well, so it's easy to go back and forth and make changes as you go through. You'll see here in the preview screen, my title is across the top. Definitely looks a little bit different, takes up less space than in the editing window. You'll also see underneath if your email address is being collected and if the autosave has been enabled. As you go through this preview, you'll be able to complete it just as if you are the respondent. This gives you a chance to make sure that you have indeed set required questions to be required. If you're using logic-based um, answers, whether it goes to the section that you want your respondents to go to, and it's also going to allow you to see if your section breaks or where they um, where you think they are in the form. The other thing that looking at the preview does, is gonna show you exactly how the answers are going to appear to your respondents. You'll notice here in my school name question, for example, in the editing window, it's all one giant long list and actually requires me to scroll quite a bit. But you'll see to your respondents, that is all condensed down into one little drop down menu. So they have to click the arrow and choose the answer from the list. This form is divided into sections, so you'll see instead of in my editing screen where I just keep scrolling and I see everything, I now have been presented with a next button to go to my next page. Sections are going to have your headers across the top and any descriptions that you've given for the section underneath, and then you'll be presented with the questions. You'll see here that my uh, multiple choice grid displays a little bit differently than it does in the editing mode. It actually puts the question beside the um, grid options. And if you have a question that has images, it's going to put that uh, side by side. So you'll have two answers um, across from one another. And you'll see that looks very different if I pull up how that looks in the editing window, which again is just in one giant list. So again, always important that you go through and take a look at your form from the viewpoint of the person that is responding. Now, if I were to go through and put in all of my answers and continue hitting next and doing my submit at the end, it will record my answer in my response sheet as an actual respondent. If I don't want that to happen, I can simply close out my tab and go back to my editing window. 